Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Magic Duels. Uh, we're going to be doing the third part of this story, so let's go ahead and hop into this. Ak Akaros has fallen under attack as harpies mercilessly swarm the city walls. Every able body is needed. You and the other prisoners are released. The city's last hope to beat back the monsters. Who releases prisoners? Who releases prisoners when the city is under, like... Like, what if they just decided, well, F you, you put me into jail, so, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna help the, the enemy. You can have multiple creatures grouped together to block a single attacking creature. Okay, this is a good, yes, usually, yes, an I know this. This creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. But a creature with trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player. Okay, I know what trample you see is. Trample and group blocking in action in this game. To block an incoming attack, first use the left stick to highlight one of your creatures and press the A button. Then highlight the attack. Okay, and then now I have my character with Trample. Alright, go ahead and attack. There we go. Great job. Yay, victory! Yeah, we're getting more coins. We got 90 coins now. Probably a pack of cards is probably like like 2,000 or something stupid like that. It's probably something crazy. Normally, oh, here we go, another all tutorial. All attacking and blocking creatures deal combat damage at the same time. However, a creature with first strike deals its combat damage first, before creatures okay, with Okay, that makes In this logical quest, sense. Withstand your opponent's assault and attack on your turn to see- Okay. So, I have to block. I don't have an option. So, it wants you to block here. A timer counts down whenever it's your turn to act. If you want to cast an instant, press the X button to stop the timer. This will give you more... Okay, that's what I want to do. So that it will kill. Good. Oh, that's what First Strike does. It gets to... Oh, okay. I get it now. So, with First Strike, you get to attack. You deal your damage first, not at the same time. So, if you can kill the other one, you well will... Done. First Strike is advantageous on both offense and defense. Okay, I get, I get it. Okay, that's really cool. First Strike is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Let's go. Did I have I had first turn and and uh, I didn't play cards, so great. Good job, Nick. Way to be stupid. There we go. Okay. Doesn't hurt. Didn't hurt us too bad. Hurt us a little bit, but not not too bad. What card did he play? I can't look at his side of the field. What the heck did... Oh, my... What card did he play? What the heck it... Flesh Mad Steed. Okay. Triggered ability. Some cards have triggered ability. No, we don't need to play that. It's like, uh... It's quick play. Okay, so I guess I'm just playing that, because that's all I can do. Get my attack for this turn. Okay, I need to draw another another land card. Give me another land card here on the next turn. Yeah, go ahead and attack you little douche McGruber. Oh no, he's just gonna play 
a glow widow. And... <sighs> okay. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's the one that gives me the boost. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll use that here coming up. I don't know why when I rest my arm on one part of my chair here, it like just sucks. It just like makes all this noise and it's like weird. Okay, we're gonna skip again. Skip in turns. I don't know if I want to block or what. So what the heck did... Dies, put the top... Okay. I don't know if that's a... Like, if that can be like a... I don't know if that means it can be like a... Um, a good thing? Like, is it a good thing in this game if you get something to the graveyard? I'm not entirely sure if that equates to being a good thing. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and skip my attack again. Who's gonna be the first one to attack? Who's gonna do it? I'm gonna let him do it. Whenever he wants to attack. Oh my god, this, these things are OP. But I'm looking at 11 damage, 13. He, he can deal 13 damage right now. Okay, I could play this thing now. Sky, Spear, Calvary. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this this turn. I know how Double Strike works. I don't want to attack this turn. Alright, dude, who's flinching first? If you attack, it's GG. Just attack your whole entire group of guys, and it's just GG. Come on, come on, dude. Someone, we we need to, we need to attack. Someone needs to attack here. I don't want to be the first one to attack. Blood troll harpy. That's kind of like the boss of this mission. Okay. <laughs> mm. Um, I'm gonna play this this turn, cause why not? Okay, so he's got it. It's got to attack eventually here. It's got to, and when it does, it's gonna be GG. Just attack. Oh my gosh, it's not attacking. Because it knows as soon as it attacks, it's gonna be GG. It's gonna be GG, no re. Okay, I guess we're just doing this. Come on! <laughs> attack me! Just attack me! I'm sticky, I'm sick of your BS, just attack! Do it! Do you are such a dick! Would you just attack? This is pissing me off. Just attack! I don't even get it. Will the computer literally just sit here forever as I play cards and just not do anything? I don't get it. Is it just not gonna attack? Is it gonna really make me attack? It's gonna make me attack, I think. No, come on. No, oh my god, dude. This is stupid. Why is it being dumb like this? Just attack. Stop being a bitch. I'm play I want to play like the bitch. You attack. You know what? Here, I have more monsters. I can almost just swarm them. I'm almost just about to be like Applet and just swarm them. Game. Why is the computer gotta be such a douche McGruber, man? This is annoying. Okay, well I have a lot of people on the field. <gasps> Airborne! What is that? Controlled four creatures with flying. Cool. Cool, cool. 
opponent. I guess if I just keep drawing monsters and he keeps drawing crap, eventually here I'll just have you out swarmed on the field, man. You've got, what is this going to be? This will be your 8th. I have 10 on the field. So, eventually here, bro, I'm just going to have way more, way more monsters on the field. And you're just going to be screwed because I'm going to be able to kill everything you try to protect with. And you just won't be able to... So I'm just going to play like the biggest bitch in the world here and just... Just wait. You know what? If you want to... I can play this game, bro. I can play this game all day. I think I'm just going to attack on the next turn here because now I've got like a huge lead monster-wise. Yeah, something I didn't need. Okay, well, screw you, dude. Everybody is just going to attack your ass. Okay, attack with everybody. F you, dude. F you, computer. This is what you get. This is literally what you get. Yeah, just try to defend. I don't even know what is going on here. I'm confused. Um... What? Lol, what? I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, so... Now we're doing our damage. I'm semi-confused on what the heck is happening. Okay... Okay, so he's got one... monster left. I have seven... This is so partially confusing. He kept his strongest dude left, so... I guess that's something for him. He did keep his strongest dick. Oh, you gonna attack? No, because you are scared. You suck, fine. You passive mofo. Dude, you passive little mofo. I don't know what he's doing. It's just never for just not gonna attack it's just I don't even know what the heck is going on here but it's GG I don't really know why he had to be stupid like this like I don't really get the logic because yep you're dead you're dead bro yeah you're dead by a lot Okay, well, Harpy's dead. 30. Third gold, achievement, air superiority. In a single duel, had your flying creatures deal 15 damage and was... Okay, okay, I didn't get a chance to read that. I get to see it anyway. In a single duel, have your flying creatures deal 15 damage and be dealt no damage yourself. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So deck upgrade as well. Uh, with your martial talents and magical skills, you manage to fend off the onslaught of our voracious harpies. However, you hear calls for help from the main gate. Before the harpies can regroup, you make your way along the wall towards the cries. Alright, a terrifying cyclop approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. You and your regulars... Why am I reading it here? Why am I reading it there? Okay. A terrifying cyclop approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. You and your irregulars are the only ones who can stop the monster from storming the city. Fail to defeat them, and Akros will fall. Succeed, and you'll become a hero worthy of the gods. Is this free? No. Okay, I thought it froze. The spinny thing stopped spinning. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're training first. We're training. Okay, well, what's this training Enchantments tutorial? Enchantments are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide range of effects. Some boost your creatures, while others make things more difficult for your opponent. Like most spells, you cast enchantment spells during your main phase. Okay. In this skill quest, use the enchantment in your hand to win the game Ooh. this turn. Okay. Oh, it wanted me to win this turn. 
But I didn't even need to- you don't even need to use the enhancement to win this turn. Oh yeah, you do. My bad. My bad. Well, I don't know what the heck this game- I don't know what the heck the computer is smoking, but I didn't have to use that enhancement. Enchantments are powerful because their effects last as long as they're on the battlefield. Yeah, even though I didn't use the enhancement there, you know, that makes some logical sense, but not gonna argue. I am not gonna argue. Auras are a special type of enchantment. Most attached to a single creature and affect only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. You can target any creature with most auras. Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, you can choose to attach it to one of your opponent's creatures. If the enchanted creature leaves the battlefield, the aura is put into your graveyard. Okay. To complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use both positive and negative auras to get the job done. Okay. So, enchanted creature can attack or block. So I think you want to put it on him. Creature plus one, plus one for each planes you control and has flying. Okay, so you want to play that on him. And now you want to attack. Okay, confirm. GG. Tutorial well complete. Done. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. Yes, alright, yes, I know how to use auras. Can I just fight the main guy now? Alright, here we go. Some it's duel time. Plus one, plus one counters on creatures. A plus no, one it's not. It's quest, still this thing. Is a Flying... To get plus one, plus one counter. Um, I think, I don't think it matters who you give it to. Yeah, I don't think it two matters. Two Seekers have a total power of four, which is not enough to defeat your opponent this turn. Cast Supply Line Cranes to give one of them a boost before attacking. Some oh, cards it wants... plus one, plus one really, it, I have quest. to give it to one of them. Oh, yeah, because I won't be able to attack with the stupid... Okay, yep, yep, I get it now. Alright, I get it, Gabe. Alright, attack with all. Can I fight the boss now? or do... How many more tutorials are there? I'm sick of tutorials. Nice. Deck. Yes, we know, we know. Can I now face the boss? Are we doing more tutorials? I think this is boss time. Oh yeah, it's boss time. It's boss time. Okay, main turn. Okay, continue. I don't really know why it wasn't letting me play there. It was not, I don't know if that's like user error there or what, but it would not let me do anything. Okay, well, play that. And then we'll play him. I can't attack, so it's end phase. Okay, Cyclops, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're gonna play a 3-1 Brush Strider, okay? I'd like to draw something just amazing out of my deck. Okay, planes are fine, that's fine. It's not what I'm wanting, obviously, but they're fine, they work. They do good enough. You know what, if you want to kill your guy by blocking, you can, go for it. Alright, good, fine, I'll take the two damage, good. That was one of those things where I was like, you know what, if you want to block the attack, go for it. I'll kill your thing. If you don't want to attack, that's fine. I don't really care. Or, I mean, if you if you let me attack, that's just bonus points, I guess. What I'm trying to say. 
Okay, what does this do? Uh, white. Does that say white? Yeah, white creatures you control get pl I don't know what that means, white creatures? Is there- oh, I guess it's these things. I guess maybe there are different colored creatures that have different effects. I mean, maybe like those yellow or gold ones have effects. Okay, if you wanna- if you wanna defend, you can go for it. If not, I'll take the four damage. I guess I'm gonna get the four damage. Okay. If you don't wanna block, that's on you, bro. That is literally on you. Alright, what you plan now, dude? What you plan now? Um... I could block, but I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, whoopee do, do your three damage, I'll do a ton more to you next turn. Okay, my turn. Okay, let's do that. Let me go ahead and play this thing. Alright, go ahead and just attack everybody. You gonna block? Oh, he is gonna block. Finally. He actually decided to participate and block. Okay. That was a decent move by him. Um, not the greatest move, but it was decent. Okay. It's a 5 2. The good thing about that is there aren't many... You know what? He's gonna have to defend because I'm gonna hit him... I'm gonna hit him hard here. I'm boosting my attack up. You're gonna have to defend, bro. Or it's GG. And I'm gonna kill that 5 damage dealer. Wow, he used it on the wrong thing. I don't know why he used it there, but I'll take it. Okay, he's got two health left. I should be able to win next turn. Yeah. So he's got to summon two things this turn, or he loses. It's pretty much as simple as that. If he doesn't bring out two monsters here, which he's not going to be able to, I don't think. Does he have a one one? Does he have a one star in his deck? Nope, he doesn't have one in his hand. Nice. Well, GG, bro. GG, Cyclops. Okay, protect with all. Go ahead and block one. It's not gonna help ya. Not gonna help ya. Victory! F you, Cyclops! And I'm yawning while I'm trash talking. The Cyclops. Jack upgraded, yeah. Okay, uh, your heroism at the gates of Akros did not go unnoticed. Heliod, god of the sun, seeks a champion to face an even greater foe. He offers you a sun-blessed spear and instructs you to destroy a mighty titan who serves Erebus, god of the dead. Okay, well, I guess it's time to face... God of the Dead. Uh, the ground shudders and the putrid smell of rot fills your nostrils. The shadow of Erebus Titan falls across you and your, your regulars. You raise your spear and it irradiates the light of the sun. The Titan bellows ferociously. You charge forwards anyway. Yeah, cause my dude, my dude is a badass. He is a badass. All right, let's do this. Actually, oh no, no tutorial. Yeah, no tutorial. We're just getting right into this. Let's go, bitch. And I only drew two land cards. That's horrible. That is freaking horrible. I have two turns to draw one land card. That's the hope. All right, bitch. It's go time. I'm about to destroy you. Okay, don't summon anything. Don't summon anything. Yeah. Beautiful. And we got another planes card. Nice. 
Nice. I'm happy with the hand we got. Okay, free damage. Yay, free two damage. Whoopee! Whoopee, free damage is always good. Like, there was no negative, there's no negative to that attack, in my opinion. Like, there's nothing. I have another creature out there to block, so I don't see a negative. Okay, just end your turn. Don't have anything else. Okay, dang it. No, we can't get that lucky. Enters the battlefield, target your opponent, reveal his or her hand, and you choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the field. Oh. Okay, Brain Maggot. Uh, get rid of... Okay, that's not the card I wanted you to get rid of, but that works. What does this do? White creatures you control. Ooh. Um. Okay, so I am going to play this card this turn. Now, what? Choose a creature to exile. Okay, well, goodbye. Give me my card back. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and take this quick five damage, so... We're heavy into the lead so far. This is good. And I'm gonna get to play that card that lets me do all whites next turn. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I need five to summon either of these, so um, I don't have anywhere near that. I need to be drawing some planes cards here on the next turn, because he's evened up the... Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus one for each swamp you control. Does that just kill? Yeah, that just kills. Okay. So that brings Brain Maggot back, and Brain Maggot... I don't, that was a stupid move by Brain Maggot. I don't know why he chose that card. He should have chose this one. Because now, defending with Brain Maggot does nothing. And you're gonna take 7 damage here, unless you block. And you're not gonna block. Thank you. This dude better get his act together, dude. I'm about to win this thing. I'm about to say GG, no re. What's he playing now? Why didn't he attack there is my question. Okay, so he's playing something to guard, but... Uh, I guess that card will just trade. We won't do... I won't kill it. And he won't be able to kill mine. Let's go ahead and do that. He's gonna have to block... Otherwise, it's curtains. It's GG if he doesn't block here. He's got to block. Hope he's blocking everything. Okay, give me my card back. You have another brain maggot in your in your deck or in your hand? Ah, uh, no. But he's got another defender thing. Okay, what do I want to draw here? I don't even know what I want to draw. Just something decent. Okay, that's not bad. Enters the... put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Okay, I'm gonna put it on that one. Okay, go ahead and attack with everybody. gonna do okay one will be dead that's good I think it's G it should be GG next turn I don't think there's much he can do unless he's got a card that can kill everything I have out if he has that then we may be in trouble but other than that there's nothing really that he has I'm not worried about anything right now um dead bringer control target creatures gains an immediate and in don't intimidate until end of turn I'm kind of sitting away from my TV, so the card effects like that are kind of hard to read. Okay. Is he gonna attack? No. Well, I think this is GG. Oh, well, this was the weirdest fight of my life. I don't really know what on earth this dude was smoking, but this was just the easiest fight ever. This is the easiest fight so far. Like, there's no way he can defend. There's, there's, there's literally nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. The up GG. Good night, bro. Erebus, Erebus Titan. Easiest.
crap ever, dude. 50 coins, good. Ordeal of Heliod. Complete Gideon's campaign. We're like 10 gamer score for that. Hey, cutscene. What the hell is happening? Origins boosters have been awarded for completing the story. Okay, so we got uh, some booster packs. Grief stricken over the death of your comrades, your plane walk, your planeswalker spark ignites, sending you to Bant. You discover a realm, a realm of chivalry, chivalry, and you are inspired to walk the path to knighthood. You take the name Gideon Jura, and you seek redemption. Okay, so we got some booster packs. Let's go ahead and open up the first bo booster here. Oh god, I didn't even get to see what I got in the pack. Dude, that's so slow. Okay, some decent cards there, I think. I don't even know what a decent card is. Dude, it takes so long to open up the pack. It's weird. It's really weird. It takes forever. That's a good card, I think. Got a Mythic Rare. Yeah, see, that's a Mythic Rare. So I got a Mythic Rare in that pack. Awesome. I have no idea what that means. So, one pack is one-fifth, 32 packs. How do you get more coins? You can buy coins. For real money. And it, for some reason, doesn't let you switch from best... Of, oh, you oh, because you have to buy that. To, okay. Okay, I get it. So, if you come here, then it lets you kind of select. The most popular one is not the best value. That makes that makes no sense. I, I thought one of these would be the most common purchased one, but I'm not going to actually buy any because that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't really need to buy packs in this because we're doing story mode. So let's head back to story mode. So, wait, we're not done with Gideon Jura? I thought I just beat him this night. How do I unlock? What the? Can I not do the next? How do you do the next? Didn't I? I already beat this. How do you do you not? Are the next ones not unlocked yet? Or um, what? I'm so confused, dude. How do you get to the next? And then I don't know if they're not out yet or. Or what? Um, I guess for now, I'll call that an episode. I'm calling it an episode anyway here, but hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.